Finally, there is active track for DJI Mini 2. Great start of new year. And by the way, happy new year and I wish you all the best. And this is not active track hack, this is a real active track and we also have waypoints and a lot of great options. How do we get it all? So a few days ago DJI launched SDK for DJI Mini 2, which means that third party apps can control the Mini 2. This is now in beta version and I hope in just few weeks that we will have a regular app. I will walk you through a full setup because I don't want you to make any mistakes. I know that we are all excited about this so let's get started first i need to mention that this is only in android phones but it will be very soon on ios also first thing that you need to do is to download app called rainbow for dji drones then connect controller to your phone and turn on the mini 2 like you will do with dji fly app but you will not use that app you will use of course rainbow so when you are in the app and you want to take off you will need to connect with your dji account also rainbow is not free app but we will have five flights to test out the new features when you log in in your account it will ask you for your phone number to verify yourself we have as i said active track waypoints follow me hyperlapse these are features that we are waiting for so long. For follow me you have different settings like altitude and shooting target height. When you set up you can start. I tested this near the trees so I didn't crash which is great. The footage is a little bit jittery as you can see but that's completely normal in this beta version. But footage is useful that's for sure. Also I need to say that there is a little bit lag on the screen but as I said it's beta version and it's not yet the final one. So I test follow me and that mode works perfectly well. I had one situation when I nearly crashed. I know that Mini 2 doesn't have sensors but for some reason he didn't run into 3. The next feature that I test is track me. On this feature I spent 3 flights and on each one works for around 1 minute and then the app lost me. That happened every time so definitely they need to work on this mode. In the first minute footage is usable but that mode isn't reliable. When I speed up just a bit Mini 2 lost me and what I found is when app lose you he can't catch you again. You need to start new session. I hope that this is only in the beta version. I have way better experience in follow me than in this one. On that one as I said you can set altitude and there is less chance for crash. Also footage looks more stable and I can recommend you when you start this beta test to not waste your flights on track me mode and use follow me and waypoints. You will have far better experience. So the best experience I had with the waypoints. This is very powerful option for few reasons. You have a lot of more options to change. So first you can set waypoint whenever you want and then tap on waypoint and you can change settings on that point. Like altitude also you can change curve size between two waypoints. This feature is awesome. Also very powerful feature is to add actions. On that tab you have options like stay for. You can set for how many seconds minute 2 will stay on that waypoint. Take a photo. Start recording on that waypoint. Also stop recording rotate aircraft and also you can set up camera tilting this feature is very powerful you can have different shots during your route i did not have any problems with waypoints so finally we have active track and waypoints on dji mini 2 this is actually a game changer you have five free flights on this app after that app costs 25 usd dollars also there is litchi app but you don't get anything for free if you like this video tell me in the comments do you want me to purchase this app so we can do more examples also tell me in the comments what do you want for me to test out i hope that you like this video and if you do please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and see ya in the next one